for the next um, question. Uh, we really agree with what um, you have uh, said, and uh, that's one of the reasons why access is very critical to the Pacific Island regions, because uh, as of today, some countries are even holding on on their education or, or promotion for demand because of the limitations of access. And uh, some of the ideas that uh, we have uh, put up here uh, for, for us to pursue, like having local contents so that the demand can be met on local scenarios, is something that we are working on. And, uh, 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 and I think by uh, addressing or resolving the access issues, we will probably open up the, the doors to many other opportunities, uh, like you mentioned. So thank you very much. Next question. Um, I'm Rajendra Paudal from Nepal. Um, I'm here uh, from ISOC Ambassador. Actually, we are working in mountain of Nepal, uh, above 4,000 meters, uh, which are almost uh, three months, four months, there is uh, ice, snow. So in such case that um, your, their Iceland case and our case seems very much similar. We found very much similar because of temperature change, because of uh, climate change, and also that uh, from if we have any problem in one point to another point, then we have to walk through uh, three days, four days, then have to set up there. Even there is no mobile communication systems. So this, um, I found a very much similar problems. But in case of, uh, as our experience since 2000, that we are working on uh, expanding such wireless network in mountain region up to in Tibet, around Tibet and uh, mountain region of Nepal, that uh, uh, if we go for the low capacity uh, um, consumption, that's a low power consumption devices, and which is especially for the, which use open source, uh, Linux oper open source, um, installing Linux uh, uh, open source applications, and we design um, our own systems, that will be quite uh, helpful for us giving early warning for our network when it will be go down. Because right now we are doing one, uh, one project with the combination with the Berkeley University and Tokyo University. Those uh, few students are working on that project. And that device is working before down the network, there is something happen. Maybe there will be heat, will be come in the device, some router or uh, connectivity will be down. So if we use that type of devices in such network, that will be give at least one hour before the connection down. So we can at least we can uh, access through the web um, because there are all, all web enabled devices. We can access then we can either we can make replace within one hour if we say any assistant please do this one. That will be one better part. I can see, um, I think that is the um, better part we are doing now. That we are doing now. So that is one of the um, good things. Then one, one is I am very much interested with the things that uh, we are using wireless network up to 30 kilometers in line of sight. So are the islands are far than more than uh, 30 kilometers that I'm, uh, if that are less than 30 kilometers, then we can use uh, wireless or uh, even we are using 2.4 gigahertz and uh, this backhaul, we are using that one. If they are, uh, and still they are working even up to 70 kilometers. They are working up to 70 kilometers in mountain. I'm, I'm not sure that uh, it is uh, different between mountain and the uh, island, maybe because of um, water vapor or there is other natural uh, things can be a barrier. Is it possible that you can use wireless up to 30 kilometers or 70 kilometers of distance? Then I'm pretty much, it is better that uh, wireless and the satellite is more costly, I think. Because we, uh, in Nepal, uh, we are almost uh, not able to afford the satellite cost. Thank you. Uh, that's quite true. And uh, we'll take note of that and perhaps uh, outside you will see some uh, or exchange some of the uh, la lessons or experiences from you. Thank you very much. Next, uh, please. My name is Sandeep Bhargav from Nokia Siemens Networks. Uh, recently I had an opportunity to study some of the issues of uh, the Pacific Island nations. And as well as the gentleman just mentioned connection which takes we have solutions which can take care, take care of the data part of it giving 
internet access, which is mobile internet village kiosk. I think we can work forward at siemensnetworks.com, and I am the person responsible. I can address your queries on that part. And in fact, these have been tested out with uh, for the satellite connectivity part also. So there is no issues in terms of one leg on the satellite and some part of it on the GSM part. There's absolutely no issues from the technology standpoint. Thank you. I've uh, heard uh, some stories about uh, the of uh, the people like common Actually, the, um, e and the e government project manager working out of the office of the Prime Minister. And so, th the whole thing about e government means it's really, really important that islanders at least get. You'll notice in this, um, in this diagram, and it's one of the things that. Um, This is, we've only got one um, provider, telecom provider, so um, you know it does make it a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult, and it's quite expensive, very expensive. Um, but what happens is that you have the haves and the have-nots. There's still people who don't have that proper, you know, the um, sort of like the essential connectivity that they require to actually access the services to become. Um, part of the global community that we would like all um, Cook Islanders to um, be part of. And so, um, you know, like listening to some of your suggestions, it's really great. The guys have done a really good job in sort of like highlighting what the real infrastructure um, um, issues are. It's really, um, you know, that for, for all the Pacific Islands, I think one of the things that has actually been identified is that regional cooperation. I cannot believe, I mean, it, and of course it's, it's at a government level. I mean, it's at, it's at a level that it's beyond, it's beyond us. We've actually got to lobby more um, with the governments to actually get them working cooperatively so that we can actually look at some regional um, solutions. And uh, I think that's really what the, the core thing is. Thank you, that's uh, well said. Um, any comments on that? Or any further comments? I'd like to invite some comments if uh, forthcoming on the unfair charging regime of internet. Uh, now we've heard a lot about internet to be left open uh, and leave things to the market forces, but. Uh, as you can see, as years goes by, especially for the small islands in the Pacific Islands, with the full circuit uh, payments, and knowing that you could be paying only half of that because the other half would be paid from the traffic that comes inbound from the US. Um, do you think we should have a review of that, or should there be some form of intervention to to, to see these charging regimes 
and uh, work uh, in, in a balanced way so that the Pacific Islands could at least have some cost savings and be able to roll out more internet services. That's a question uh, I want to hear if there's any comments from the floor or any, any suggestions. We have the mic. Slightly off topic. Uh, so I'm just waiting if somebody has a. of this issue about unfair pricing. there so the teachers are in say China or Hong Kong and the students are in Mongolia and uh, similarly in New Zealand and other places uh, we have users um, and uh, we support such usage uh, and uh, we would be very happy to offer our platform for usage uh, uh, if you deem it fit uh, for education or any kind of such purpose or for interaction among individuals uh, and if you see some synergy in uh, working together or something like that uh, we are always open to ideas. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Dim Dim, because uh, is paid uh, from Tahiti. Is he still online or is gone? Okay, all right. We've uh, reached the end of our session, and uh, we would like to thank you very much for your attention and uh, your patience sitting here and listening to our issues and also the suggestions you, you made. Uh, can I ask you to join me to thank the speakers as well with uh, hands, please? And uh, thank you again.